Okay, today I'm going to show you how to block a Wi-Fi user using the TP-Link Tether app in your phone if you're having a TP-Link router in your home. So we're going to proceed to installing the TP-Link Tether app. So I'm going to scroll down my phone and open the Play Store app. After opening it, go to the search bar, type TP-Link Tether app. Mine already popped up. So choose the install option if you don't have one. But as for me, I have already installed mine. So I'm going to proceed to opening it. Okay, then you are required to sign in using, uh, using your TP link ID. If you don't have one, you can create one using your email. So I, I already have my email my email here. Steven, the at I'm going to proceed to entering the password. The password is already saved into my Google account, so I'm going to just click on the autofill option and then click login. Okay, the name of your router will be displayed here. So this is the model number of my router, so I'm going to click on it. And then enter the password for the router. I'm going to enter my password. And then click the login option. Yeah, you have successfully signed in. So on the display, you can see the client option, the status of the connection of your internet and your router. And then your network SSID is displayed here and your password is displayed there. So I'm going to click on the password. You can see it. And then the SSID of the network. So if I want to block the Wi-Fi, uh, a certain Wi-Fi user, I'm going to click on the client tab. So, okay, here are my clients, the wired clients, which is my PC, and the other clients which are using either the phone or a laptop. So I have, here's the server, my phone. I'm going to go back. Okay, I have some users displayed here on my board, on the dashboard. So I'm going to click on one of the users, for example, and then click block. He's already on the blocked client list. So you cannot access, you cannot access the internet. And there you go. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope you like it and give us a subscribe button. Thank you.